This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CXCAS technology student course. In this lesson, we will look at creating and editing a data set in the lists and spreadsheet application. We will start by opening a lists and spreadsheet application 1.1. This has a familiar look of the spreadsheet and operates with constant structure similar to those found in, say, Excel. We have horizontal rows, vertical columns, and cells which have addresses. The cursor default position is in cell A1. If we use the arrow keys, right, right, down, we arrive in cell C2, which is in column C, row 2. The arrow keys on the click pad are the most reliable way to move around the lists and spreadsheet application. As with Excel, you can move much further to the right, and much further down, but it's easy to move too far away from where the main action is going on. So if you're out in the wilderness, just press Control G, and you'll be invited to get back to cell A1. Press Tab, or use the touchpad to select OK. Other important locations on the List and Spreadsheet application are the name cell, for the name that you give to a list or column, and there's no spaces allowed there. The formula cell, where you'll set up an automatic calculation for the cell values in that column, starting with the equal sign. And the entry line, where you can enter or view any formulation that takes up more space than the column width allows. We'll now look at how those are all used in creating a data set. Suppose we look at the total points scored by an AFL team for the first 10 matches of the season. In round one, they won 69 to 53. So we'll start in cell A1, key in 69, and press enter or down arrow key. The cursor is now in cell A2. Now we'll enter the other nine scores, 100, 167, 73, 118, 104, 55, 107, 96, and 144. check that there are 10 scores in all. And in our column, we do have 10 scores. Now we're going to give this data set a name. We'll call it round one to 10 scores. We'll press the up arrow several times to get up to the name cell for column A, but we're not allowed to use a space to separate the words of our planned name. We'll use an underscore found at control open book instead. So we'll type in RD1 TO 10 underscore, that's control, open book, select the symbol there, S-C-O-R-E-S, -E and press enter. Note how the formula cell at the bottom of the screen gives the full entry for the name cell. Inspire will save this data set as a list variable. To see this list in an easy to read format, open a calculator application with Control I and press the VAR for variable key. Note the curly set brackets containing three dots. That's Inspire symbol for a list variable. Select this. And press Enter. And because it's a name variable, the name appears in bold on your calculator page 1.2. There it is in bold. Press enter again, and the 10 scores appear in set brackets, 
separated by commas. Now suppose you want to work with the scores scored by that team in the first 15 rounds of the season. You have found out that the five additional scores are five, 59, 93, 78, 98, and 108. You can use some editing features on the calculator screen to form a new data set. First, use the up arrow key once to copy, then enter to paste the bracketed list of 10 scores. Then move the cursor to the left once, just after the number 144, and press comma, 59, comma, 93, comma, 78, comma, 98, comma, 108. Move the cursor one space to the right outside of the brackets and store it as a list variable using control bar. And to the right of the arrow, type in R D one T O 15 underscore. So control book. Select the symbol. S C O R E S and press enter. There's limited space in the one line shown on your screen, but the black arrow to the right indicates that there are more values in the list. Now press var to verify that inspire now has two list variables scored. Press escape. You can now use this work to populate column B of your spreadsheet. Navigate back to Listen Spreadsheet, page 1.1, using Control Left, and place the cursor in the name cell for column B. Type RD1TO15 underscore so control book, S-C-O-R-E-S, -E which will cease being italicized and will become bold when you finish typing because it's recognized the list variable, and press Enter. The data set will now be listed in cells B1 to B15. You can use your down arrows to verify that. There it is, all the way down to cell B15. Navigate back to page 1.2 by pressing Control Right. And we can sort this list using the menu. Press Menu. Then statistics, then list operations, then sort descending. We're going to sort the second list, so press var to access round 1 to 15 scores, press Enter, and then press Enter again. It indicates that that's been done. To verify that it's been done, navigate back to page 1.1 using Control left and we can see that in that column, in column B, they've been sorted from highest to lowest. Other actions and aspects of the Listen Spreadsheet application can be found using Control Menu. Place the cursor in the name cell for column B. Press, con press Control 
menu, look at the different options. Select Quick Graph, and you'll see a plot of the 15 scores, a dot plot. This can be useful in terms of analyzing the data set. Now we'll undo this action by pressing Control Escape. Now let's see how the formula cell can be used. Place the cursor in the formula cell for column C. We'll get lists and spreadsheet to add another goal or six points to each of the round one to 15 scores. Press equal to start the formula. B to denote all the column B values. Plus six to add six and press enter. Note how this calculation has been spread across all 15 values in column B. Six has been added to all of them. The square brackets after the B up here in the formula cell indicates that this applies to all cells in column B. Well, that's all for this lesson. Be sure to check out the other videos in this course.